Corey asks the question, do we have to work on ourselves first to improve in morality and in spirit to become a child of God? Or can we get to him, can we get him to accept us and then improve? There's, there's two extremes. One extreme is, oh, you don't have to do anything to try to improve. Just come as you are and God will accept you. That's one extreme, which is not scriptural, by the way. God never says that is. He hates the workers of iniquity and many other things it says in the scriptures in that regard. Jesus didn't accept everybody either. Uh, I mean, in that sense, do everything in your power to repent. There are some things that that are beyond your ability to repent of. Some A lot of people are enslaved to sin in various ways and that's beyond their power. In that in that case, I would say, you know, um, God would help you out with, with all of that stuff that you, we just have to keep our eyes on the goal. And the goal is that, you know, the goal is righteousness. The goal is obedience. The goal is to be free from the slavery uh, uh, to sin. And along the way, uh, you know, we we will be blessed uh, abundantly uh, by the Lord in every step of the way. So I think that there's there's two extremes. One extreme is, ah, don't you have to do anything? Just come as you are. Then there's the other extreme where it's like, no, you have to, you have to do everything and no, you never ever get there. Both ways can lead, can be destructive. But there's a there's a healthy balance where it's like, you do what you can, you do what you can, meet God and, and he'll help you with the rest.